I was 26. I was sent to South Africa. I remember telling the, the superior who told me I was to go to Africa that I couldn't. I said my parents will die and too many people will miss me. Sister Ethel Normoyle was born in Lizzie Casey, County Clare, in 1944. After entering into the religious order of the Little Company of Mary and becoming a qualified nurse, she was sent to do missionary work in South Africa. I came to an apartheid South Africa. I came and I touched the reality of it. Um, I just could not believe it. It was horrific. And I worked in, um, in a European hospital for a month and then I was sent out to a mission. Words can't describe how lonely I was. When Sister Ethel first arrived, she was sent to an area called Pretoria and started educating the black youth, something the authorities did not approve of. I used to get phone calls telling me they had my coffin at the door and I had five classes going from Monday to Thursday night and they, honestly it was working like a clock but at the gate was a policeman you know and in the winter I would go and I'd make a, a nice mug of coffee for him and bring him a sandwich and he would just stand like this he wouldn't take it and one night it was so cold and I said why are you such a fool you know why don't you drink this coffee? He still wouldn't take it. He just stood like this, you know. And he told me that I was to stop the night classes. I was working against the, the government. And I told him this was a dreadful government. He said, you stop those classes as from tonight. I remember one day I had a little baby in my arms and I had a drip. I um, was on my way with the baby into the hospital. And this white man cleared his throat and he spat here on my lip and um, yes, they, they were quite horrible towards me. 